Hey everyone, a couple of weeks ago it was commanded by the courts that the parliament must return to session. It must sit, lest civilization collapse like the England football team in a penalty shootout. So after that court case, everyone was sent back and almost no work was done because frankly there's little that can be done not by MPs until the prime minister decides the next move. It's a bit like that bit in a chess game where everyone's just staring at the board for half an hour while the clock counts down and half the audience are actually staring at their smartphones by now looking up the latest scores in the rugby. Highlights of next week's empty schedule include the appointment of a lay member to the Parliamentary Expenses Watchdog. Exciting. I've seen video footage of 1970s car factories with more work being done in them. The latest proposal on Brexit was to make Northern Ireland part of the Customs Union but removed from parts of the single market like freedom of movement and such like. Brussels of course said no, which is a bit reminiscent of that time the band Queen sang I Want It All. Mostly because the band ceased to exist a couple of years after that. Brussels has made it pretty clear by now that the single market is sacred and it will not be picked at. It's like a bronze statue of a bull like the ancient Sumerians would worship at, rather than the Sunday roast that gets picked at for several days. Although in both cases Jean-Claude Juncker has brought some wine with him. Of course that either means no Brexit deal, or London just has to accept that Northern Ireland's no longer part of the UK, it's part of the EU's empire. At which point though we have the interesting plot twist requirement that Boris Johnson legally has to suggest an extension, although it's unclear how this will actually play out. Some hope he'll indicate how he's got zero intention of changing his mind on any front, but he'd like to waste everyone's time for a bit longer too. Others have pointed out that a number of countries, Hungary being suggested as one of them, will threaten to veto any extension unless they get sent billions of euros of additional grant money. Again, does the EU really want that to continue indefinitely into the new year, or will Berlin count on them staying nice and compliant like they were in the 1940s? Of course, one of the major things that hasn't been discussed much is what Nigel Farage has been up to for the last couple of weeks. You know, he has spent some time in the UK, but a lot of it's been spent annoying people in Europe, giving speeches, using his EU expense account to turn up at pro-nationalism events with the very deliberate aim of poisoning any goodwill that remains and focus all the EU's animosity that exists towards Britain in one last push to get them to pull the plug. At which point I look at the BBC's Europe News webpage and they do have a major article about what's been going on in Vienna. Quote, selfie museum aims to make art more enticing. Well, that seems to be about as newsworthy as Jeremy Corbyn's recipe for curried parsnips and about as good a use of public money as that time the NHS tried to buy a computer. Anyway, only three and a half weeks to go, I guess. See you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.